Hi, welcome to my channel, Rohit Speaks. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about a very simple topic. It's is chocolates benefit, beneficial for you? Or there have been topics about some chocolates are good, some are bad. So I'm just going to clarify this topic and give you a little bit information about what is beneficial in chocolate and which kind of chocolate is would be good for you. So in general, there are... Um, these four types of chocolate, we call it as white chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and raw chocolate. So as you can see by the gradation, it's the percentage of cocoa, the actual cocoa in the chocolate formation is what it is. So anything more than having more than 50% of cocoa powder or cocoa beans powder is considered dark. 100% is just cocoa powder solidified with some fats. Milk chocolate is more sweet. Has So if you go down this way, more cocoa increases. If you go this way towards the white and milk, it's more sugar, less chocolate powder. So, and also now this figure should give you an idea that nutrient and antioxidants get richer as you go more towards the darker. So anything above. So nowadays chocolates are available in percentage gradation of their, how much cocoa is available so you would do anything above 50 is is actually has enough antioxidants and enough flavonoids, which is very beneficial for you. And it actually will help you with your blood, with your blood purifying heart and all of this, which I'll talk in a few bits, but darker the chocolate, the better for you. And so as you go from 50 to 100, the bitterness will go up the scale as well. So if you cannot tolerate too much bitterness, 50 to 70 should be okay for you. If you are able to tolerate some bitterness, you can go 70 and above uh, to get that beneficial of uh, the, the benefit of the chocolate. So why is it so? So the chocolates have a couple of things. One is antioxidants, which is required to scavenge all the radicals when you breathe. Free radicals are formed in your body, which leads to cell death. Basically, it ages you. So chocolates are good for anti-aging as well. Uh, how much should you con consume? Technically, 12 to 20 grams of chocolate is enough in a day. You don't need to consume like a bunch. I mean, yeah, if you are binge eating, that's a whole different thing. But technically, you need is 12 to 20 grams of chocolate. Darker, the better, as I said. Uh, it in, it contains flavonoids. Now, flavonoids are the major component which helps you with your, it basically absorbs the LDL. It takes down your cholesterol. It helps uh, clearing out your radicals. And then it has the tannins and some uh, amines, which basically helps your blood circulation and also helps your heart to be more uh, susceptible, more operatable. So they are antioxidants rich, flavonoid rich, and it has some minerals and some important ions like magnesium and uh, calcium. So if it is made with milk a little bit. So main important is that it has that flavonoid, which are small molecule compounds, and it can go through all your body, even it will cross your blood and brain barrier. So it's very, very beneficial if you consume dark chocolate, darker the better, 70 and above will be much better. And you don't need to consume the whole thing. You can consume 12 to 20 grams and that should be very helpful for you. If you want to know more about flavonoids, I mean, there have been a bunch of studies and you can you can, you can can Google it, you can go to NCBI and search for all of this, but basically it is an antioxidant effect. It has anti-cholesterol effect. It's a lot of, but again, the benefit of chocolate has to be there if you have a balanced diet. If you're consuming a bunch of fat diet and very bad diet and, you're, and oh, chocolate is good for me, I'm going to eat chocolate and that's going to help you. That's not how it works. You need to have a balanced food. So chocolates are good for you. They're not that bad. Darker chocolates are good for you, but you also need to have a better diet, better exercise. So just chocolate is not your solution. You need to have a better diet along with that. So Yes, chocolates are good, darker the better. With a better proper diet, you can consume 12 to 20 grams a day and you will have a much better life compared to non-chocolate diet. And also, there is a nice correlation. If you look for the Nobel Prize winners and the chocolate consumption, there's a cold, linear correlation with the chocolate consuming nation having more Nobel Prizes. Uh, that's just a, a pun on the word, but you can find it. So anyway, 
with that, I would like to switch this video off and I'll see you in the next one. So the only point to say here was chocolates are good, darker the better, 12 grams a day with a balanced diet. It will help you. It will help you with your cholesterol. It will help you with your anti-aging. So hopefully this was more informative for you. So with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.